welcome to my channel if you want to see how i install these crochet braids please keep watching and by the way i just want to say that when you do protective styles right don't ignore your hair don't make this look good and then underneath your hair is suffering like <laughs> there's no point in doing a protective style then i just did a protein treatment last week with these uh, crochet braids installed so make sure you take care of your hair moisturize it seal it with um oils and you know do everything that you would do for your own hair even though it's underneath this style or if it even though it's in a protective style okay your hair is going to thank you for that usually i keep my protective styles in for about one month to two months and there's no way i can go without washing my hair so i do wash my hair i do protein treatments i do um deep condition you know i do everything that i would do to my hair even though it's in this style. I try to wash my hair at least once every two weeks or once every week. Sometimes it depends on which protective style it is. But then one thing I do do regularly is to moisturize it. So I, I spritz it with water and then I put a moisturizer inside and then I massage oils into my hair. So let's get right into the tutorial. If you missed my crochet Fulani braid stroke tribal braids, do check out my previous crochet video where I show that. So these clips you're seeing now is me when I remove the front section of the hair. So now in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to straighten the hair. And also in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the hair redone at the front. So the braiding pattern and whatnot, I show you guys all of that. So over here, I'm brushing out the hair. You have to be patient for this step, okay? So just brush out the hair and then straighten it. If you guys saw in the clip, the hair was melting and that's because this straight now is really, it gets really hot. But that's the only one I had on hand at that time. So if you can regulate the heat on your straightener, I would definitely advise you to do that. Other than that, it's good to go. And bear in mind that the hair is going to become way lighter than it was before, okay? Because you're going to lose some of the hair. So if you want it to be thicker, go in and add some more extensions as you do the hair again, okay? So the texture you get after straightening this kinky hair is very much like Ghanaian or African or African American hair. So that's one thing I like about straightening this hair. Just to change the hair up a bit, I wanted to mimic the whole relaxed hair kind of thing. And yeah, that's why I did that versus going to use like a whole new hair extensions, which are super straight or silky because that's not the look I was going for. Oh yes, I do have to apologize for the quality of this particular section because the video, the original footage was very dark. So I had to increase the brightness, which put a lot of like grain in the video. So my bad. For those who don't know what grain is, grain is like the dot 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 you can see on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> so my bad about that. Over here, I'm showing you guys the pattern that I used. So I simply braided the cornrows. I have two anchor braids, which you see in the middle. And then I did about how many? Four or five cornrows on each side. And then I connected all together. So that's the final thing that it's looking like. For the middle section of the hair, I did the normal crochet, which you guys are going to see. Yeah, so for this section, what I was saying was that I'm going to crochet it underneath. And instead of like sewing it down or whatever. So this is the hair that I used. And I'm doing normal crochet for the regular cornrow side. But then when it came to the ankle braids, that is the two in the middle. And also the two other sides, like the front section, I used the knotless crochet no not not less <laughs> i keep making this mistake invisible crochet braids which is the one that you don't see a knot so that it looks like it's going from your scalp which was the look i was going for if you're a beginner and you want a tutorial on how to do crochet braids please check out my crochet braids playlist it's going to be very helpful for you and there are lots of styles that i did with crochet braids so definitely check that out it's going to be linked here on the screen or in the description box below so that's the final result after i finished everything went ahead and straightened it but i did realize that the ends were still not as straight as i would have liked so if you can see it looks very uh what's the word to use it's just not as straight as it was supposed to be <laughs> so i went back in brushed it out straightened it again and this time i used another straightener which was much better i didn't melt the hair but i straightened it just perfectly so that's what i'm doing over here what you want to do is also trim the hair obviously these are not hair shears or hair scissors but it doesn't matter because this is synthetic hair but if you're dealing with human hair or your own hair please always use scissors that are made for hair okay never use paper cutting scissors or kitchen scissors like no if you don't have do not cut your hair or do not trim your hair go and buy 
scissors specifically designed to cut hair okay otherwise you're gonna end up with split ends and you do not want that no 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 mm -mm. healthy hair in these treats yeah <laughs> so continue doing that uh, for the whole hair obviously I'm not gonna show you guys like the whole thing because it's repetitive right so just a few strands not strands a few sections yes that I took to show you guys the process and I also did that for the front so you guys can see what I was working with and yeah that's about it so one last time to show you guys you brush it out and then you straighten it then you want to trim now this section you want to trim downwards okay please do not trim horizontally like i did this video was three years ago so bear with me like there's a lot of things that i've improved on but yeah as at that time that's what i knew so that's what i did okay okay let's move on <laughs> so i brushed everything together i see how the texture looks just like permed hair you know okay in malaysia when they say permed they actually mean the curl but then in ghana when we say permed we mean straightened hair which yeah i think well, it depends on where you're from, I guess, but that's what we call permed hair, like straight hair in Ghana. So this section, I'm going in to like make the ends not as bland as they were. So that's why you cut upwards. That's what the inside of the hair looks like. And then now I'm going in with an edge control because I was trying to get like, you know, a relatively sleek look. I have edges, but no baby hair. So I just worked with my university hair as I call them or my grown up hair. And yeah, <laughs> that was it. I don't think it turned out bad at all, if I do say so myself, especially at the part. So I got like a nice middle part going on. But on the side, which you guys will see soon, I was like, mm. I was even contemplating whether to include that footage or not. But hey, I left it in just so you guys can see everything as it is. And so this is the middle part. And that's what the final look looks like. And now I'm going to show you guys a couple of styles. Uh, oh, before then, okay, I'm going to show you guys the back. <laughs> I'm going to show you the back of the hair, so that's what it looks like. And now I'm going to show you guys the styles. Okay, so style number one, I took two sections from the front and simply clipped it at the back. That is it. Used a bobby pin. That was it. Very simple and nice. See? What do you guys think? So I like the way you framed my face and yeah, that was style number one. Isn't it nice? <laughs> Looks good, doesn't it? I think it does. I liked it. So, <laughs> And now style number two, we are going in to swoop everything upwards like an updo. These styles are very simple. You don't need anything major, nothing. Just your hands, just a few clips, one or two bobby pins and then you're good to go. So you just sweep the hair, swoop the hair all backwards and then bobby pin it in place. That's what the back is looking like. So once you're done bobby pinning it, you just adjust the front and the back a little bit, you know, to frame your face better. And voila! Très chic, no? <laughs> is that correct? I don't remember all my French. Anyway, yeah, so I'm really liking this look as well. Do let me know which style is your favorite in the comments, okay? So for this side, this is where I was saying that mm, I was contemplating whether or not to like put this footage in, but let me be real with you guys. So I just kept it in. Um, in hindsight, well, the middle, I wasn't really feeling that part, but hey, if you put the crochet in better than I did, then you can definitely rock this as a style. So what I tried to do was like cover up the edges and do like a messy kind of all back look. But to be honest, the middle, I was just like, mm, I'm not really feeling it but hey it's what it is so we move so now another quick style was just a side part you know that i did the anchor braids to be only in the middle right but then i was like you know what let me just try and do a side part and so i just used my fingers lightly and you know it came out nicely like a very carefree kind of look which i think it was nice you don't need to always have a defined part so that is it. If you found this tutorial helpful, by all means do share it with your friends and family and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye.